Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson three, comparing quantities with percent. Classwork opening exercise says, if each 10 by 10 unit square represents one whole, so one whole is 100%, so this is 100%, and it's 10 by 10, so every single square is 1%, then what is then what percent is represented by the shaded region below well there's a hundred percent here this is a row of ten this is a row of ten and then we have one two three four five totaling twenty five so there's twenty five percent shaded over here so that is a total of one hundred and twenty five percent in the model above twenty five percent represents a quantity of ten students how many students does the shaded region represent well, what I would do is take that total 125% we have and divide it by 25% to see how many times 25% goes into 125, and it goes five times. So for every 25%, there's 10 students, and I have five 25%, then it's five times 10 or 50 students. Okay? Example A. The members of a club are making friendship bracelets to sell to raise money. Anna and Emily made 54 bracelets over the weekend. They need to produce 300 bracelets by the end of the week. What percent of the bracelets were they able to produce over the weekend? Okay, so this whole exercise is about parts and wholes and percentages. Okay, so we have a ratio or a proportion we can set up. So if I go back up here and look at this, one whole is 100%. Okay? So if we have a portion over the whole, that equals our percent. And percent is some number out of 100. So 50% would be 50 over 100, or 0.5, or a half, 50%. So we use this formula, part over whole equals x over 100. So the portion that they've already done is 54. So they've already made 54 bracelets. The whole they need to produce is 300. And that is equal to some number out of 100, being percent percent means out of a hundred. So this is probably the easiest way to do this if you can see that there's something we can multiply or divide by. So if I multiply 100, actually I'm going the wrong way. If I divide 300, what do I divide 300 by to get 100? Well 300 divided by 3 is 100. So if I divide 54 by 3, then I get my answer. And 3 goes into 5 once with the remainder of 2. And 3 goes into 24 8 times. So 54 divided by 3 is 18. So 18, they are 18% they are done, having made 54 bracelets. OK, part B says, Anna produced 32 bracelets of 54 bracelets produced by Emily and Anna over the weekend. Write the number of bracelets that Emily produced as a percent of those that Anna produced. So Anna produced 32 bracelets of the total 54 produced by Emily and Anna. Write the number of bracelets that Emily produced as a percent of those that Anna produced. Okay, so first of all, we need to know how many Emily produced. So if Anna produced 32 and the total is 54, I would take 54 minus 32 and get 22. So Emily produced 22, and Anna produced 32, and the total is 54. Write the number of bracelets that Emily produced 
as a percent of those that Anna produced. So Anna produced 32. What percent of 22 is 32? So we would say 22 divided by 32 equals some number over 100. Okay, so I can reduce this to 11 over 16, but that doesn't really help us. I always try to find ways to find a multiple of this that will go evenly in, uh, but when that doesn't happen, then what we can always do is cross multiply. So 32x equals 22 times 100, or 2,200, and divide both sides by 32. And we're going to get x equals 32 will not go into 22. 32 will go into 220 seven times. No, it won't. It's too big by just a little. So that'll be 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. Plus 1 is 19. Subtract. And 3 goes into 28 nine times. It won't quite go with the rounding. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24. Plus 1 is 25. And 7, 10, 4, 2, 4, 0. 8 times 3 is 24. But this 2 will make it too much. So it's 7. 7 times 2 is 14. Carry the 1. 7 times 3 is 21. Plus 1 is 22. Subtract. And we get 16. Okay, so 32 goes into 160 five times. So the answer is 0.6875 or 68.75%. So 22 bracelets is 68.75% of Anna's bracelets. Part C. Write the number of bracelets that Anna produced as a percent of those that Emily produced. Okay. Well, this is just going to be the reciprocal, isn't it? So in this case, we are taking the, the 32 and putting it over 22. The number of bracelets Anna produced, 32, as a, pro, as, as a percent of those that Emily produced. So her portion compared to Emily's portion equals some percent, x over 100. Okay, cross multiply, and this time we're going to get 22x equals 32 times 100, or 3,200. Divide both sides by 22, and x is going to equal, so I'm going to take 22 and see how many times it goes into 3,200. 22 will go into 32 once, and that will remain 10, bring down the 1. 4 times is 88, leaving 120, and 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11, and 100, 4 times 2 is 88, and as you can see, it's going to repeat, so it just keeps repeating over and over and over, and so therefore, x equals 145 point four five percent okay exercise one try these pause the video see how you did and then come back and check your answers okay here goes there are 750 students in the seventh grade class total 625 students in the eighth grade class total. 
eighth grade, seventh grade at Kent Middle School. What percent is the seventh grade class of the eighth grade class at Kent Middle School? So all they're saying is, what is 750 over 625? What percent is that? So when I do the cross multiplication, I get 625x equals 7,500. No, just kidding, 75,000. 750 times 100 is 75,000. Divide by 625, and just to save time, I will use my phone. And I will say, hey Siri, what's 75,000 divided by 625? 75,000 divided by 625 is 120. Okay. So since the seventh grade is greater than the eighth grade, you should expect to see more than 100%. And sure enough, we got 120%. B, the principal will have to increase the number of eighth grade teachers next year if the seventh grade enrollment exceeds 110% of the current eighth grade enrollment. Will she need to increase the number of teachers? Explain your reasoning. And the answer is yes, 120%. It, so these seventh graders are going to become eighth graders next year. Okay, we're going to assume everybody passed and did all their homework and watched my videos and understood the concepts and passed, and now we're going to become eighth graders. All right, so yes, they're going to need more teachers. So because 750 is a 120% increase from 625, it's a 20% increase. It exceeded the 110%, so yes, they will need to hire a teacher. They will need more 8th graders, 8th grade teachers. Okay. Okay, yes, they will need more 8th grade teachers. Number two, at Kent Middle School, there are 104 students in the band. Okay, 104 students in the band, 80 in the choir. What percent of the number of students in the choir is the number of students in the band? So when they say is the number of students in the band, they're talking about the number of students in the band, that's our numerator. That's our part we're talking about. So 104 students in the band compared to the choir of 80. Okay, that should be there. Equals x over 100. Okay. This one. Let me think. Should I cross multiply still or should I show you the shortcut so to reduce? 8 won't go into 100. Uh, half of that's 40, 40 won't go into 100. Let's just cross multiply. So if I multiply eight time, 80 times x, I get 80x equals. 104 times 100 is 104 with two zeros after it, 10,400. Divide those by 80 to get x by itself. And this 8 cancels with that 8. 8 goes into 10 once with a remainder of 2. 8 times 3 is 24, so 130%. Okay. okay. At Kent Middle School, breakfast costs $1.25 and lunch costs $3.75. What percent of the cost of lunch is the cost of breakfast? What part of, so cost of the breakfast, what part of that lunch is it? So what percent of the cost of lunch is the cost of breakfast? So the, what they're talking about is what's the cost of breakfast compared to lunch. We're going to put the part, the breakfast cost, over the lunch cost. And that's going to equal x over 100. When I cross multiply this, I get 3.75x equals 1 point, not 1 point, 125. 
$1.25 times 100 just moves the decimal two places to the right, so it's 125. Divide both sides by 3.75. And again, I'm going to save time by using Siri. Hey, Siri, what's 125 divided by 3.75? 125 divided by 3.75 is about 33.3333. Okay, so 33 and one third percent. Notice she said about 33.3333 because she had it in decimal form. It's an approximation because she would have to say three forever without saying about. I can say 33 and one third percent exactly when I change 0.3 repeating to a fraction. Okay, so it's 33 and one third percent. The cost of breakfast is 33 and one third percent. The cost of lunch. Number four, describe a real world situation that could be modeled using the equation 398.4 equals 0.83x. Describe how the elements of the equation correspond with the real world quantities in your problem, then solve the problem. Okay, so this 0.83 means 83% of some value. So this could be a discounted price of something. So let's say I'm buying a new computer, okay? And the original cost of a computer was $398.40. No, that's the discounted price. That's the sale price. So let me erase that. That's not the cost. That's the sale price. The sale price of a computer is $398.40. And that was 83% of the total. In other words, we're getting 17% off the total. What was the original price of the computer? Okay, so in order to solve this problem, it's a basic algebra problem with a variable and a coefficient with a constant on the other side. We always want to get our variables by themselves, so I'm going to divide by 0 0.83 and divide by 0 0.83. So these will cancel and I get x equals my original price of 398.40 divided by 0.83. So if I take 0.83 and I move the decimal two places to the right, then I do the same with the number that I'm dividing, 39840 with the decimal here. 83 goes into 398 four times. Four times three is 12, carry the one. Four, eight times four is 32, plus one is 33. Subtract and I get 66 and bring down a four. eighty three will go into six hundred and sixty four nine times no all nine times eight is seventy two eight times eight is sixty four eight times three is twenty four carry the two eight times eight is sixty four plus two is sixty six subtract and I have no remainder so there was still a decimal place here so we just put a zero there the original cost of the computer was four hundred eighty dollars I got it at a 17% discount, so I got it for $398.40, but the tax was 17%, so I still paid $480. No, I'm just kidding. Moving along. Moving along to the end of the lesson. That is the end of lesson three. Review the lesson summary and go to your problem set.